Men who do little exercise and spend much of their time, their spare time anyway, watching TV, have lower sperm counts than much more active men. That's the results of a new study. Sperm quality appears to have declined over several decades, and researchers in the US have been trying to see if there's a link to our increasingly sedentary lifestyle. However, there is also evidence to say that too much of the wrong kind of exercise can also be detrimental to fertility levels. Well, let's talk about this uh, with Saga Kasseri, who is a clinical embryologist at the London Fertility Cl Clinic and joins me now. Saga, thanks for being with us. So this is a trend then about men's fertility. And it's, is, do you agree with the findings that men who sit on the couch have lower sperm count? Thank you for having me here. Um, it's difficult to say. There are so many different parameters involved in uh, what determines um, a good sperm count or a, a poor sperm count. Certainly, so many studies have shown that um, men that do excessive exercise, as well as men who don't do any exercise, could be at risk of having lower sperm counts. So why is that? Let's start with the men who don't do enough. Okay. <laughs> men who don't do enough, um, obviously, they may, as this study suggests, spend long hours in front of TV. There is a um, dietary effect that involves when you're sitting in front of the TV uh, for many, many long hours. As is well the as couch also, also quite a hot place? And it sperm is. don't like to be warm. Yes, it is. Um, the scrotum of men are hanging outside the body for a reason, and that's because sperm needs to be produced at lower temperature compared to 37 degrees of inside the body, like women have their ovaries inside their body. And hence, um, when it gets too hot, it can affect the production and the quality of the sperm. That's why we see in um, some men that, uh, for example, do long hours marathon running in tight shorts and uh, biking, um, or even drivers that drive for many, many hours in very tight clothing. Um, there, there have been some studies that have shown these parameters can affect the sperm quality, although none of them have actually been conclusive. Okay, well, the, this study is quite interesting. Men who are the most physically active, their sperm count is 73% higher than those That's who true. were least. That's, That's true. a high figure. It is a high figure. But what would be interesting is if this study is followed up with, um, uh, with the same um, uh, people that I actually carried their studies on to see if they put them in a, through a program of exercise um, after a period of given time would their sperm parameters improve? Okay, <laughs> we, we should get on to that. What about women though? I wanted to ask you about that because one of the issues here perhaps is a weight issue. Do women who are, 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 who are overweight, do they have problem re reproducing eggs? Uh, women who are excessively overweight or even underweight, the same, same uh, uh, application of the parameters that are causing problems for men actually apply to women as well. We at London Women's Clinic, if uh, we have patients that are coming through that have excessive weight and they want to start fertility treatment, we do suggest to them that they um, actually go on a diet and try and lose some of that weight because it does affect the ovulation of women. It's fascinating stuff. Saga, thank you very much thank for coming very in. Much.